The film begins with a man named Andre, who is planning to meet his girlfriend on a street. But suddenly a mysterious car starts following him, and Andre is forcibly taken away by unknown individuals. This is the introduction to Get Out. Introducing a talented photographer who loves creating classic photo works named Chris. Today is a special day for Chris and his girlfriend Rose, because not only is it their four-month anniversary, but Rose is also taking Chris to meet her parents. Chris calls his friend Rod, who jokingly warns him not to go to Rose's family because they are all white and something bad might happen to Chris. However, Chris dismisses Rod's silly and over-the-top warning. Suddenly, the car they are driving hits a deer, and it seems as if fate itself does not want Chris to go. Upon arriving at Rose's family home, Rose introduces Chris to her father, a doctor, and her mother, a hypnotherapist. They seem very pleased with Chris's visit. After a tour of the house, including the workroom of Rose's mother, Chris meets the housekeeper, Georgina, and the groundskeeper, Walter, and he realizes that the family only employs black people. During their conversation, Rose's parents guess that Chris often smokes, and they offer to help him quit by having Rose's mother perform hypnotherapy on him. However, Chris is not interested in their help. Soon after Rose's brother arrives, Jeremy and Chris meets him for the first time. After dinner, the conversation turns to Chris's love of basketball and his ability to do judo. Rose's brother seems like a troublemaker and even challenges Chris to a fight. In the middle of the night, Chris wakes up and wants to go outside to find the best spot for a cigarette. Unexpectedly, he encounters Georgina and Walter acting strangely, which startles him. When he returns inside, Rose's mother, who is in her workroom, suddenly invites Chris to sit with her. She indirectly hypnotizes Chris using the sound of a teacup. Chris, unaware that he is being hypnotized, is carried away by the atmosphere and unwittingly shares the most heartbreaking experience of his life, the death of his mother, when he was 11 years old. He soon realizes that the hypnosis has made him immobile. Chris is forced into a very dark world by Rose's mother, a place called the Sunken Place. The next morning, Chris wakes up in his room, finding it strange that his phone, which he had charged the night before, is now unplugged. He meets Rose and tells her that he thinks her mother hypnotized him the night before, but he is not sure because he only vaguely remembers the incident. After speaking with Rose, unexpected guests begin to arrive for an annual party commemorating her late grandfather's friends, all of whom will gather at the house. Chris is obliged to participate in this grand event. Most guests are quite elderly, and Chris starts to meet them one by one. The guests seem overly interested in Chris, as if they have never met a black person before. But Chris's discomfort is somewhat alleviated when he sees another black guest. However, this guest also behaves oddly, appearing stiff and unfriendly, as does his wife. Chris then meets a blind guest named Jim, who shares that he was once a renowned photographer often featured in National Geographic. Jim expresses admiration for Chris's photography. As Chris continues to look for Rose, the guests suddenly turn their attention to him, and Chris becomes frustrated when he finds his phone charger unplugged again. He suspects Georgina is responsible and calls Rod to share the strange occurrences at the house. Chris tells Rod about being hypnotized by Missy, Rose's mother, and how the people there seem to have never seen a black person before. Rod urges Chris to flee, suspecting everyone might be hypnotized by Missy. Shortly after, Georgina comes to apologize for unplugging his phone, but the situation turns bizarre again when Chris expresses his nervousness around the white guests, causing Georgina's demeanor to change drastically. Chris resumes his search for Rose as more guests arrive. Rose's father introduces the newcomers to Chris, and one of them asks Chris what it's like to be African-American. Struggling to answer, Chris asks the other black guest to explain. While the guest is speaking, Chris discreetly takes a photo, accidentally triggering the flash, which causes a change in the guest. The guest urges Chris to leave immediately, having become more coherent after Missy's hypnotherapy. He apologizes to Chris for causing a disturbance. Feeling increasingly uneasy about the strange events, Chris asks Rose to leave with him. However, it's revealed that the guests have been using hand signals to bid on Chris in an auction, with the highest bidder winning the right to buy him. Rose agrees to leave with Chris, and as the guests depart, Chris sends a photo to Rod of the person who told him to escape after being affected by the flash, leading to a shocking revelation. Rod tells Chris that the photo he sent is of a person named Andre, 
who has been missing for a long time and is sought by the police. Andre is the man who was abducted at the beginning of the film and is now completely lost in identity and married to an older woman. Chris grows increasingly fearful in the house and asks Rose to quickly pack their things, but his attention is suddenly drawn to a box belonging to Rose. Chris is shocked to find photos of Rose with several black men, including Georgina, contradicting Rose's claim that Chris is her first black boyfriend, which turns out to be a lie. Without hesitation, Chris decides to escape from the house, but as he tries to leave, he is confronted by Rose's family, who prevent him from escaping. Rose reveals her true nature by deliberately not giving Chris the car keys, leaving him trapped. Meanwhile, Rod, deeply concerned for his friend's safety, goes to the police to report Chris's disappearance. Despite sharing his theories and the strange events that happened to Chris, the police laugh it off, thinking Rod is hallucinating. When Chris regains consciousness, he finds himself tied up in a room and watches a video recording of Rose's late grandfather explaining that he has created a method for eternal life by transferring human brains into other bodies through hypnosis. This method has been performed by Rose's grandparents, who are not actually dead, but have had their brains inserted into the bodies of Georgina and Walter. Thus, Rose's grandparents are still alive, but in the bodies of black people, a secret Chris has yet to discover. That night, Rod manages to call Rose, and he realizes she has been lying all along. Rod does not believe Rose's claim that he has already returned home using a ride-sharing service. Rod records his conversation with Rose as evidence for the police, but it backfires as Rose plays along, suggesting Rod is in love with her. Chris wakes up from hypnosis again, this time to see Jim, the blind photographer on TV, who reveals he chose Chris's body to gain a young, strong physique with perfect eyesight to enhance his photography skills. Before Chris can be hypnotized again, he finds Cotton in the sofa and thinks of an idea to escape. As the operation begins, Dean Rose's father prepares to transplant Jim's brain into Chris's body. However, Chris, pretending to be hypnotized, when Jeremy comes to try to take Chris away, but Chris takes advantage of this opportunity and hits Jeremy on the head. This is all because he plugs his ears with the cotton, preventing the hypnosis from taking effect. When Rose's brother takes too long to bring Chris to the operating room, Dean calls for him, only for Chris to attack him with a deerhead statue, killing him. Chris searches the house for his phone, but encounters Missy. He destroys the teacup to prevent further hypnosis and defeats her. As Chris tries to escape, Rose's brother attacks him again. The struggle between Chris and Rose's brother is intense, as they are both strong, but Chris manages to overpower him with a stab to the leg. Chris then escapes in a car while calling 911, but accidentally hits Georgina. Unaware that Georgina's body is inhabited by Rose's grandmother, Chris tries to help her, leading to a violent outburst and a car crash. Rose arrives with a rifle, ready to shoot Chris, but is thwarted by Walter, who tries to ambush Chris. In a last-ditch effort, Chris uses his phone's flash to awaken the original soul within Walter, Rose's grandfather's host body. Briefly regaining control, Walter asks for the rifle from Rose, shoots her, and turns it on himself, ending the threat. Chris decides against revenge, leaving Rose bleeding and dying alone. Shortly after, Rod arrives to rescue Chris, reminding him that he had warned against going to Rose's family's house. The film concludes with their escape. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing, you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Two.